Social media has completely changed the way that reporting can and should be done. Um, if a reporter makes a report, they call something out about a particular player and it's right. All right, cool. Uh, if a reporter makes that same report, they call out something about a particular player and it's wrong. Then that particular player can go on social media. You know, a lot of these guys, they search their names, but that player can go on social media and they can call it out and be like, oh, whoa, 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 whoa there, buddy. You're wrong. And this is exactly what happened with J.K. Dobbins today. He let Ian Rappaport know, who is very well respected in his reporting. He let Ian Rappaport know, you're wrong. Because Ian Rappaport, um, in a video update, he was saying, basically saying how J.K. Dobbins, he's pushing. Him and Gus Edwards, they're both pushing. But with J.K. Dobbins specifically, that everything, as far as the rehab and the surgery, everything went good. But... It's, it might be a little stretch to say he's going to be ready for week one. And actually, the, 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 the report said that he's not expected to be ready for week one this year. Because, of, of course, he tore up everything in his knee and it was rough. As we all remember, the Ravens got wreck it Ralphed last year by the injury bug. And it was just ugly, literally from not even from start to finish, before start, before the start of the season, things started getting ugly. But from start to finish, it was just downright nasty um but anyway the report was saying that he's expected to maybe be ready a couple weeks after week one then maybe he can go but the ravens aren't gonna push him they're not gonna force him they're not gonna make him come back till he's all the way ready um and that's why they signed mike davis as some nice insurance um but jk Dobbins said whoa 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 let's read exactly what he had to say verbatim Okay, I'm tired of being quiet. So that lets you know that this is not a, a first time thing. This is not the first time that J.K. Dobbins is seeing something about himself that he disagrees with or not even that he disagrees with that he just feels is flat out wrong. So again, he said, okay, I'm tired of being quiet. Come to me for your source, Ian Rappaport. Uh, because I might not even go on the PUP. Now, the PUP is the physically unable to perform list. And if somebody goes on the physically unable to perform list, if they're on there at the start of the season, then they have to miss the at least the first six weeks. But now there's another PUP that happens before the season even starts that can happen during training camp. And this sounds like, to me, in my opinion, it sounds like this is what J.K. Dobbins could really actually be talking about. Because he said, I might not even go on the PUP because that's how good my rehab is going. So there's a, a PUP that happens during training camp. And this is where if a player, due to injury or whatnot, they're unable to pass the physical, they can't practice. They can't practice. So for him to say that he might not even go on the PUP because of how good his rehab is going, that would be a great sign for J.K. Dobbins to be ready for week one. But you know what? Let's finish what J.K. Do Let's finish the J.K. Dobbins report. He said, um, again, that's how good my rehab is going. And I'm sure going to be ready for week one. So he put it out there. He, he let it be known. Like, no, I, I, I am definitely going to be ready for week one i don't care what you say what your report said or what, what you thought your report how accurate you thought it was no i will for sure be ready for week one and again let's read the whole thing without any interruptions and or breakdowns uh, okay i'm tired of being quiet come to me for your source ian Rappaport, because i might not even go on pup because that's how good my rehab is going and i'm sure going to be ready for week one so, again, J.K. Dobbins clearing it up, clearing up any doubt, uh, clearing up any speculation, him letting it be known like, hey, week one, oh, yeah, you're you going to see 27 out there for sure, for sure. And, man, that will be a beautiful, man, it, oh, my goodness, week one, I think a lot of us Ravens fans, we may be crying. I mean, we obviously got to get through uh, training camp, and, and which is next week it starts, I think, what, next week on Wednesday? That's crazy. It's already, like, it's already here. That's in one, a week and, what, two days? And training camp is, oh, my goodness. Anyway, um, so training camp starts next week. Got to get through training camp. 
Got to get through preseason. And uh, I've said this ever since last year. I just feel like John Harbaugh, there's no way he can play starters in preseason. Is there? There's no way he can play starters. After last year, there's no way he can play starters in preseason, is it? And, and, and I don't even think it would necessarily because I know some people be like, oh, man, no. He can't be, be scared like that in preseason. No, no, no. He can be. John Harbaugh, you, you got a pass from me and from a lot of other people. You could be scared in preseason to play your starters. Be, be scared. You could save it for the regular season. Even if it takes them a couple of drives to really fully jail. I mean, they will, they will have had training camp, but still. Even if it takes them a couple of drives to jail, hey, no, no problem. I don't think any of us will be mad at that at all. But preseason, again, well, they got to get through preseason, my point. But week one, when week one hits and you see a J.K. Dobbins, you see a Gus Edwards, oh, if you see a Ronnie Stanton, if you see a Marcus Peters, a Marlon Humphrey, mm, mm, mm. if you see a Lamar Jackson, you see a Nick Boyle. You see a Patrick Ricard. Yeah, I mean, there's a long list of people that got taken out last year by the injury book. A long, long, long list. And just to see those guys back on the field in meaningful gameplay week one against the Jets. Oh, that would that, be a beautiful thing. So I'm I'm letting any Ravens fans know right now from jump. Feel free. If you get a little emotional, don't feel bad. Don't feel bad because it's going to happen. It's going to happen. And you deserve to be as emotional as you want to. Because last year, ooh, it, it, it pulled at a lot of emotional strings for us Ravens fans. And that's what that, that, that's normal Ravens football. Like, again, that's why we always say 2019, that was a dream. That wasn't real. That wasn't real. That, that was not real Ravens football. They, they don't, nah, that's not them. They don't do stuff like that. I mean, games like against the 49ers, the super close and crazy and just stressful, that's Ravens football. But a lot of that other stuff, the Dalton blowouts and all that, no, no, nah, Ravens, that's not Ravens. Especially how consistently the blowouts will happen. Nah, that's not Ravens football, no. Mm-mm. Nah. Ravens love the drama. They love the drama. The Colts game from last, that's, that's, that's Ravens football. That's Ravens football right there. Mm-hmm. The Vikings game from last, that's Ravens football right there. That's I mean, we can go down a lot of other games too, but yeah, the the stress, the 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 Browns game, oof, that that's that's Ravens football. Ravens they they don't make stuff easy. They make stuff stressful. It's down to the wires, down to the end of the season. Even without their starters, even without their starter, we saw last year with uh, well, not not all their starters obviously because they were already missing half the roster when the season started, but. We saw last year, like, so many games just came down to it. They came down to it. The Ravens won some, and they lost some. Then Lamar went out and came down to it. They lost all of them, but Ravens are like, hey, Lamar's out. All right, we still not going to get blown out. We still going to have y'all believing we in this thing. Well, I mean, well, they were actually in those games, but that's what they do to your emotions. So... Again, let all them tears out, them happy tears come week one. Really even come training camp when you see you see people out there. Whenever. But anyway, shout out to J.K. Dobbins for clearing the air. J.K. Dobbins, he he obviously got a career um in reporting once he's done in the NFL because he already getting a head start. 